this project I'm going to use this yarn there is no information about this yarn but I'm gonna use 3.5 millimeter hook which is perfect for this yarn to begin in this project make a slip knot using 3.5 millimeter hook and now I'm going to make a number of chain that is reaches the size of so yarn over and pull through that is my first chain two three so I have here a chain of that is enough and now I'm going to make one double crochet in the four chain from the hook so yarn over and let's count one two three and four insert your hook yarn over and pull three loops in your hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through the rest of the loops in your hook and that is our second double crochet this chain three here is considered as our first double crochet and the one we just made is our second double crochet and we're going to repeat this one double crochet in per stitches repeat one double crochet per stitches or per chain until the last chain round three chain five one two three four and last one five turn your work around and then make one double crochet after skipping two stitches so one two and then go and then go to the next stitch insert your hook place one double crochet so chain three is our first double crochet and then chain two space is our chain two space and then the rest of the chain here is our chain two space so chain two one two skip two stitches one two go to the next make one double crochet repeat chain two go to the next skip two stitches and then go to the next i mean and then make one double crochet repeat that until the last stitch and here i am in my last stitch i'm gonna chain two one two then skip two stitches one two and then three in the last stitch insert your hook which is on the third chain make one double crochet and this is your work should look like round four chain six one two three four five and six turn your work around make one double crochet on the top of the previous double crochet chain three one two three one double crochet on the next double crochet chain three one two three and one double crochet on the top of the previous double crochet repeat until the end chain three and then skip two stitches and then in the third chain one two three make one double crochet we're making it a bit stretch that's why we're making chain three here in round four round five chain seven one two three four five six and seven turn one double crochet on the top of the previous double crochet chain four chain four one two three four and then one double crochet into the next double crochet 
repeat until the last stitch round six chain eight so one two three four five six seven and eight turn one double crochet on the top of the previous double crochet first double crochet in the second one insert your hook one double crochet there chain five one two three four and five go to the next make one double crochet on the top of the previous double crochet chain five one two three four and five one double crochet into the next double crochet on the top repeat until the last stitch round six we're going to repeat round five two times one two three four five six and seven chain seven turn and one double crochet on the top of the one double crochet on the top of the previous double crochet this one chain four one two three four one double crochet in the next double crochet in the previous round repeat that until the last stitch round eight we're going to chain three one two three turn two double crochet in the first box one two and then one double crochet on the top of the previous double crochet and then two double crochet in the next box one two one double crochet on the top of the double crochet in the previous round repeat until the last stitch I am here in my last box I'm gonna place two double crochet one two and on the third chain one two three insert your hook place one double crochet and this is how your work should look like in round eight placing two double crochet in each of the box and one double crochet on the top of the previous double crochet round nine repeat round five so chain seven one two three that is our first double crochet chain four one two three four as our chain four space turn and then we're going to make skip the three double crochets so one two three including this one so one two three skip that and then go to the next on the top of that insert your hook place one double crochet so i'm making one double crochet just a line in the box here in the previous round with a double crochet just a line with that and then chain four one two three and four and then skip two double crochet one two and then in the next insert your hook place one double crochet also align with the previous double crochet in the boxes as you can see chain four one two three and four skip two stitches one two or two double crochet and then in the next insert your hook place one double crochet we're gonna repeat that until we get to five round of boxes and then after that we're going to repeat round eight which is this one here 
and then you're gonna alternate that until you get the length you want so as you can see i have here a total of around 31 and now we're going to fold this in half to the side and we're gonna connect this here to connect we're going to insert our hook on the last stitch of the other side so count three chain one two and three insert your hook there and yarn over and pull through chain one and then here in the double crochet space take the one on the top first insert your hook and then as well as on the other side here in the space of the double crochet yarn over and pull and yarn over pull through two loops so I just made a single crochet and then go to the next this one here on the top of the double crochet insert your hook there and then go to the other one right on the top of that make one single crochet and then here two single crochet in the space insert your hook grab the other piece insert your hook yarn over and make one single crochet and repeat one single crochet in the same space and then go to the next and then go here where this chain four insert your hook on the top of that and as well as on the other side and make one single crochet repeat that until the end and here if you come across to this this area not a space so just go on the top of the double crochet this one insert your hook and as well as on the other side there make one single crochet and then make two single crochet in the double crochet space here and go to the other side in the same area and make one single crochet and repeat one more time in the same space make one single crochet and here on the top of this one here or this chain three insert your hook and as well as on the other side make one single crochet and then go to the chain space this one one two single crochet and then repeat I am here in my last double crochet this one here two single crochet there and as well as on the other side so one two and here last one this one here and then the other side as well make one single crochet chain one pull tight and cut the yarn in our last round i'm gonna insert my hook here anywhere in the stitch on the last round and then i'm gonna make a slip knot of the same yarn that i use and then pull and then i'm going to make a chain of 10 so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then in the fourth chain from your hook, let's count one, two, three, and four. Yarn over, insert your hook there, and make a puff stitch. So yarn over and pull. Yarn over, pull through two loops only, and then repeat three more times so yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch yarn over grab that yarn pull yarn over pull through two loops only yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch yarn over and pull yarn over pull through two again yarn over insert your hook in the same yarn over and pull yarn over pull through two 
So once you have five loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through all the loops in your hook. And then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Yarn over and I'm going to repeat what I did here. So go to the first chain here. Insert your hook there. That is our first chain after the puff stitch and then repeat this one yarn over pull yarn over pull through two repeat until you have five loops in your hooks yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch yarn over pull yarn over pull through two repeat yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch yarn over and pull yarn over pull through two Repeat, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and pull, yarn over, pull through two. Five loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through all. So once you have this one, insert your hook here, here on the very tip of this puff stitch in the first one. Insert your hook there in that stitch, yarn over and pull through in that loop in your hook. So this is what we are doing here. So now we're going to chain how much chain we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chain six to match the size of the chain here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then skip a first stitch. Skip the next stitch after this one. Skip that and go to the next. Insert your hook make a slip stitch so very easy and very simple so again chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and once you have that go to the four chain from your hook make a slip uh, puff stitch so yarn over i will make it slower this time if you did not get the first one so yarn over count from your hook one two three and four insert your hook in the four chain from your hook yarn over grab that yarn and pull three loops in your hook grab a yarn and pull through two loops only we always have to pull through two loops until we get five loops left in our hook Yarn over and insert your hook in the same stitch. Grab that yarn and pull. Yarn over and pull through two. So we're always repeating here now. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch. Grab the yarn, pull. Grab a yarn and pull through two. Five, we have one, two, three, four loops in your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch. Grab that yarn and pull. Grab a yarn and pull through two again. So I have five loops in my hook. Grab a yarn and pull through all. And then we're going to repeat that. But first chain three, one, two, and three. And repeat, yarn over, insert your hook in the first chain. Grab a yarn and pull. Grab a yarn and pull through two. Grab a yarn, insert your hook in the same stitch, grab a yarn and pull, grab a yarn, pull through two, repeat, grab a yarn, insert your hook in the same stitch, grab a yarn, pull, grab a yarn, pull through two, grab a yarn, insert your hook in the same stitch, grab a yarn and pull, grab a yarn, pull through two, five loops in your hook, Grab a yarn, pull through all. Insert your hook in here to make it like a circle. Insert your hook in the in this one here in this point. And then yarn over and pull. Chain six to match this chain here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Skip one stitch. And then go to the next, insert your hook, grab a yarn and slip stitch, pull through in that loop in the hook. And there you go. This is what we're gonna do here. 
So repeat that all the way around. And here, this is my last puff stitch. So skip one stitch and go to the next. Make one slip stitch there. And as you can see, this is a K. One slip stitch in the next and no chain one space, which is just okay. And then chain one, pull tight, and we're gonna cut the yarn. We'll secure the remaining stitches. So I'll make this in a half. It's up to you how you wanna secure your stitches for me and make it this way. So make this in a half, yarn over and pull, and make a few knots. One, and then I'll just cut the rest of that, and that's it. And now I'm going to make a slip knot. Then make a number of chain until you get to 30 inches long. But if you want it longer or shorter, then you decide how many chain you want. So I have here a chain reaches 30 inches long and now I'm going to in the second chain from your hook one two insert your hook make one single crochet go to the next make one single crochet and one single crochet per stitches all the way to the end here my last stitch make one last single crochet chain one pull tight and cut the yarn secure the remaining stitch i have this before and i will just make a few knots and there you go it's ready and i'm gonna grab this one here so this one where we connected this is to be under and face it like this so i have this one here this is about double the size of this one so you can see so one and two so i have a little bit left but that is okay you can make it longer or not it's up to you so anyway we will put this here i'm gonna put it like this so i will just insert here this is our slip stitch where we connected together so i will just put it here one two in each box three and then here just go through of that and then more until here on the top and then grab the insert here in the same spot and like that and go up so just make sure it's not in the same side like the other one so it has to be on the top of that one and then like this so this one is in the bottom so the one of yours in the hand should be on the top and so on and so forth and then just pull once you're done and do the same until here on the top but you can go until here if you want but i stop here in this last one and then the other one is in the second last box and then just pull it up like this you can make it more and then just make a lace here after that and that's pretty much it